Is this liqueur worth buying? And if you do get it, what can you make with it? This golden Spanish liqueur was inspired by Roman times when some 2000 years ago, the Romans came across a golden elixir in Spain called Liquor Mirabalis or a miracle liquor. The recipe used in Liquor 43 contains, you guessed it, 43 ingredients, but the recipe does not pretend to be the same as in ancient Roman times. It served as inspiration for the creation of the Liquor 43 recipe, which was created in 1946 by the Zamora family in Spain. Okay, let me share with you the marketing information that they put on their website about the flavors. Liquor 43 has 43 natural ingredients in four categories, citrus, botanic, sweet, and floral. But what does it actually taste like to me? Well, let's find out. It smells sweet, it smells vanilla. It's overwhelmingly vanilla. There are notes of the orange there. Reminds me of that childhood flavor of orange and vanilla, which is of course in Orange Julius. There are botanical and floral notes, but it's very subdued. Probably not gonna come through in a cocktail. And to highlight Liquor 43, let's make some cocktails, four to be precise. And I try to branch out and find some new and different recipes, but the ones that look best to me and were most appealing were all from either a Beach Bum Berry book or from Smuggler's Cove. But what's good is good. So let's start with the Agricole Guava Cooler from Smuggler's Cove. And the drink was created by none other than Mr. Martin Cake. For this one, you'll need Bundaberg Guava Soda, Angostura Bitters, Lime Juice, Liquor 43, and a Rum Agricole Blanc. Start by building this in a small shaker tin with two dashes of Angostura Bitters, three quarter ounces of fresh lime juice, three quarter ounces of liquor 43, two ounces of a rum agricole blanc. We're gonna shake all these ingredients except for the soda. Add some soda to your glass. All right, let's try the Agricole Guava Cooler. Right off the bat, the two main flavors you get, you get the uh, rum Agricole and you get that guava. The Liquor 43, to me, it, it's not very prevalent. Those vanilla flavors, I think they work really well with the guava soda, but it's not something that is very intense or honestly very uh, noticeable even. Now it might go without saying, but you kind of have to be into rum agricoles and those sort of grassy, bright, fresh floral notes from this rum. But at the same time, I think if you're um, not that familiar with it, this is a good entry cocktail into rum agricoles because it is a little subdued in there with the sweetness from the guava soda and those spices from the Angostura bitters. Super bright, super refreshing, and if you really love those uh, guava flavors, which I always associate with Hawaii. This is an excellent cocktail to try. There you have it, the Agricole Guava Cooler from Smuggler's Co. All right, here's another Liquor 43 drink, and it's a special one. It's Beach Bum's own, and it's an original drink by the one and only Jeff the Beach Bum Berry. For this one, you'll need lemon juice, pineapple juice, orange juice, passion fruit puree, Liquor 43, a Demerara rum, and a light Puerto Rican rum. We're gonna build this in a small shaker tin, starting with three quarter ounces of fresh lemon juice, three quarter ounces of unsweetened pineapple juice, three quarter ounces of orange juice, three quarter ounces of passion fruit puree, three quarter ounces of liquor 43, one and a quarter ounces of a Demerara rum, and one and a half ounces of a light Puerto Rican rum. We're gonna shake this with plenty of ice. with a lemon wedge and a cherry. All right, Beach Bum's own. 
Now this one's a surprise. There's so much going on here. There's tons of fruit juices. Get your lemon juice, your orange juice, as well as your passion fruit, which does come through that passion fruit flavor is strong. And then we have almost three ounces of rum, but somehow just three quarters of an ounce of the liquor 43, you can definitely taste it. You can pick up those vanilla notes and they play nicely together with the orange and the lemon juice. It does have the look um, and even the feel of kind of a resort style drink. And on paper, I think it even looks like it's gonna be too sweet, but it's really not. And uh, a surprising combination, I probably shouldn't be, but that passion fruit, as well as the liquor 43, they really play together nicely. Such a dangerous glass. The one thing I, I would change if I was making this again, uh, I would use more flavorful rums. I used Eldorado 5 as my Demerara rum, but I'd, I'd use something that has more, you know, more intensity to it. And we are cutting that with that uh, Puerto Rican rum, which makes sense in a lot of these style drinks. They're cutting it for uh, to make it more approachable, also for cost, but I was making it, I'd probably just lean to two ounces of something very flavorful. Maybe Hamilton 86, another Eldorado rum, or just uh, even moving off of that and doing a Jamaican rum or something, because I do think that the rum gets lost in here, but that does also help that Liquor 43 flavor come through, because I think if you had too much flavor from your rum in here, you'd probably lose that. There you go, Beach Bums owned by Jeff the Beach Bum Berry. Moving right along to another cocktail that shows up in the Beach Bum Remixed is The Best Year, a blue curacao and vodka cocktail with Liquor 43 created by Bobby Batuga. The drink won the 1975 U.S. Bartenders Guild National Championship. For some of us, a drink with roses, lime, cordial, blue curacao, and vodka may not sound appealing, so I'm going to adapt it just slightly. Uh, that's no shade to the original recipe. In fact, uh, I did a Bobby Batuga cocktail here in the past with Midori, and it was actually really good. If you like vodka, use vodka. But I'm going to modify just a couple of things here while honoring the original, and we'll include both recipes in the episode's description. For this version, you'll need pineapple juice, liquor 43, blue curacao, a lime cordial, and a recipe for this one's in the description, and your favorite gin. I'm gonna build this in a drink mixer tin, starting with two ounces of pineapple juice, three quarter ounces of liquor 43, half an ounce of blue curacao, half an ounce of lime cordial, and two ounces of Plymouth gin. Add one cup of nugget or crushed ice and flash blend them. I'm gonna garnish with a lime wedge and an umbrella. All right, now to the, to the blue one. I have um, low expectations, but high hopes for this one let's see that's that's delicious right. now obviously i changed this drink not i don't want to say significantly but definitely uh plus the ingredients here so uh i'm not that surprised that it tastes as good as it does it it's i think it's great uh if you didn't have the gin in here the plymouth gin i, I don't i think you'd be missing out on so much depth and complexity and balance to the overall flavors of the drink. Also, I'm using the lime cordial from Tropical Standard. I didn't clarify the lime juice in it, but that gives this really nice, intense lime flavor. Uh, it doesn't necessarily taste like fresh lime juice, but you're getting that intensity from the lime oils. And blue curacao is just, you know, cheap curacao with blue coloring. So if you don't have blue curacao, you could totally make this. It's not gonna look quite as cool as this one, but all of these ingredients with that pineapple juice, they work together so well. I've not had, you know, dozens of gin tropical drinks, but of the ones I've had, this is up there. This is one of the best that I've ever had. So it's balanced, it's refreshing. It does lean sweet, but if you like these things, if you like these resort style drinks, like the Blue Hawaii, this is it right here. This is an awesome drink. So 
Uh, the second best year, a riff on Bobby Batuga's The Best Year, subbing out that vodka for gin and a nice intense lime cordial. So there you go, the second best year. We've got just one more Liquor 43 cocktail to go. The Tradewinds recipe first showed up in Beach Bum Remix, but the recipe most people follow is from Smuggler's Cove. In fact, I've already done a Tradewinds video and it's one of my absolute favorite coconut cocktails. What makes the Tradewinds unique is the use of an apricot liqueur. And as I pointed out in that video, I think the drink is a great template to play with. Follow the same recipe each time, but just swap out the liqueur, which is what I'm gonna do right now by making it with Liquor 43 instead of an apricot liqueur. The recipe calls for one and a half ounces of cream of coconut. You could use Coco Lopez, Real, or make your own like Smuggler's Cove does, which is half coconut milk and half two to one simple syrup. For this one, you'll need lemon juice, cream of coconut, liquor 43, a black blended rum, and a blended lightly aged rum. We'll build this in a drink mixer tin with one ounce of lemon juice, one and a half ounces of cream of coconut, one ounce of liquor 43, one ounce of a black blended rum, I'm using Karuba here, one ounce of a blended lightly aged rum I'm using Chairman's Reserve. I'm gonna flash bun this, but you can always shake this. Garnish this with an orange wedge and a distressed umbrella. All right, our last cocktail to try is the Spanish Trade Winds. And I'm gonna be really interested to see if that Liquor 43 comes through. I mean, in the original Trade Winds, that apricot liqueur, it, it shines through uh, very nicely. I made it in that episode I did with banana liqueur as well. That really came through. I'm imagining this is gonna be a little more subdued but let's, uh, let's give it a taste. Cannot taste the liquor 43. It's just adding more sweetness there. That's not adding really, I don't think it's really adding anything other than sweetness, but it's not as interesting as uh, apricot liqueur, as a banana liqueur. Uh, you could use really any fruit liqueur. If you're using something like a uh, creme de mirror or, or a berry liqueur, you probably want to use a little bit less. And it doesn't make a bad trade wins at all. I, th I think it's actually still really good. Do you think it is, it's just a touch too sweet. So maybe dialing back the liquor 43 or even dialing back the cream of coconut would kind of help this. Uh, but you know, you're not going to get those intense fruit flavors by coming over to the, you know, the vanilla and uh, subtle orange flavors of the liquor 43. But that might be something that's interesting too. It, it, it's it's less interesting in a flavor profile than the original Trade Winds. So it's really not bad at all. It's still really good. I just thought that this was probably gonna be my favorite of these four cocktails and it's not, it's not my favorite. So there you go, four cocktails featuring Liquor 43, the Spanish liqueur, which is uh, pretty much a vanilla liqueur with some uh, hints of botanical notes and hints of some bitter orange in there. It's not, I don't think, a liqueur that you have to have, but it is called for in many of these uh, tiki and tropical recipes. Now, I'll tell you my honest opinion here. I think the blue one is the best one. It's the most surprising to me, but if I was coming back and making any of these again, this would be the one that I would choose. So that's it for this one. I'm Derek, this is Make and Drink. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like below, consider subscribing to the channel and otherwise, see you on the next one.